Jersey Sports Homes coverage of Freehold Borough is being brought to you by Hit Training. Saturday Shore Conference football all about rivalries. They play for the Duke Trophy, Freehold Borough and Freehold Township. Nice piece of hardware there. And the scoring gets started early in the first quarter. Township has the snap go out of the end zone. Safety for Freehold Borough. 2-0 Colonials just three minutes into the game. And get ready to see one of the most electrifying players in New Jersey, Ashanti Worthy. Look at these moves. He's like a video game out there. Worthy. Nearly takes it all the way. But thanks to offsetting penalties, this drive would stall. But don't worry, Ashante Worthy was just getting started. Township gets the ball back, but they could not stay far away from this duo. Quajon Everett and Kenny Tomkovich with a little sack lunch. Frio Burrow gets the ball back near midfield, and they put a nice drive together. Worthy. From four yards out, 9-0 Freehold Borough, just under three minutes to go in the first quarter. We move into second quarter action. Worthy made the move from running back to quarterback last year, and he's just given a different dynamic. But here, he takes a hard hit. He would come off the field for the remainder of the drive. So now it's Javante Hare stepping in for Worthy. He uses his speed around the edge. Javante Hare takes it to the house. 18-0 Freehold Borough early in the second quarter. Township on the move, looking to respond. Nick Reardon to Pat Larisai. That's a gain of 40 yards. Great catch by Larisai right there. And Reardon wasn't done. Standing tall in the pocket to James Romeo. Touchdown, 13 yards. We've got an 18-7 ball game. The good news for Freehold Borough fans, Ashante Worthy was back, and he's feeling just fine. He can sling it. Great pass there to the junior Quincy Davis, 41 yards. Davis is hyped up. It's 25-7, Freehold Borough in front. Freehold Township just trying to stay in the football game late in the first half. It's reared in to Larisai. How does he get that foot in? What a grab by Pat Larisai. Take another look. Yeah, he gets that foot in. Amazing catch at the half. Freehold Township now down 25 to 14. But in the second half, the Patriots could not slow down Ashanti Worthy. He is able to throw the ball over the middle here. Touchdown to Quincy Davis. Second score of the game for Davis. 14 yards out. Freehold Burrow is rolling. It's now 39-14. Give credit to Freehold Township. They didn't go away. Reared into Romeo. That's a 21-yard touchdown. But too much Freehold Burrow in this one. Reared and goes across the middle. He's picked off by Matt Kraus. Matt Kraus is a good playmaker for this Freehold Burrow team. Two interceptions along with a TD reception. Worthy would lead Burrow down the field on the ensuing drive. And it's capped off by Javante Hare. Again on the jet sweep, he finds the zone from six yards out. And the Duke Trophy is heading back to Freehold Borough High School. And the Colonial fans have every reason to be fired up. Head coach Dave Ellis hands the Duke Trophy to his team. And after losing a heartbreaker last year, 16 to 12, 46 to 20 is your final. Ashante Worthy, did this on a regular basis last year. Eye-popping numbers. How about this for dual threat? 227 yards rushing, 234 yards passing. He carried the ball 36 times. Everyone in the state knows that Ashanti Worthy is going to have his hands on the ball for almost the entire game. And the challenge now for everyone on Freehold Borough's schedule, try and stop him. After the game, R.J. Cook spoke with Dave Ellis and Ashanti Worthy about the transformation of Worthy from a pure running back to a dangerous quarterback who can do it all. Ashanti did a great job preparing himself. Um, you know, we went to three seven-on-seven tournaments, you know, which he didn't run the ball one time. So uh, he did a nice job working on his mechanics, understanding his reads, his footwork, and uh, you know, he just wants everybody to know that he's a complete quarterback. He's, he's not a wildcat guy. You know, he's able to hurt you with his arm just as much as his legs. I mean, it means a lot because last year we lost to them by two points, I think, and they took the Duke. And um, 
all, all, all season we've been just saying that we want the Duke back, we want the Duke, but we didn't prepare for Township. Coach, coach always say we don't, we don't, uh, we don't prepare for the team that week. We're preparing for a championship. 